The merge paths modifier is used to connect together open paths. And by open paths, I mean paths that have endpoints. So for example, this path has two endpoints on either side. This is also an open path that has an endpoint over here and over here. This is not open. This is a closed path because it connects in on itself. It has no endpoints. So merge paths will only um, apply to open paths. It will ignore closed paths. Uh, I will delete this one. And if I would like to connect these two endpoints dynamically, then merge paths is really handy for that. So if I select both of these and I go to modify merge paths, then it created, you can see in red here, this um, connection segment between my open paths because these two endpoints were close together. And close together means that they are less than this parameter, which is by default set to one. Um, so we're in inches, so that's one inch. So if endpoints are within one inch, they'll be connected. And if I were to move my original paths, then at a certain point, it will not connect them because the endpoints are farther away than that one inch. If I'd like them to still be connected, I can change that parameter so I can just move this from one to a higher number and then they'll connect. Um, if I wanted this endpoint to connect with this endpoint, then I could put this at a much larger number and now these endpoints connect because their distance is within the connection distance threshold. Um, also, you can change your um, these handles. So this outgoing handle will affect the, um, the connection segment. Uh, it will use these handles. So I like to use merge paths when I'm trying to create something that, say, is symmetrical that I want to be closed up. So for example, I might have a shape like that. And I'll take this path and apply rotational repeat. And now I would like it if the, the, these segments all closed in on themselves. So it created one closed shape. And to do that, I'll use merge paths. And now these endpoints, because they're closest, will get merged and it will um, you know, draw in all the, the necessary paths to make it one closed path. So if I edit this original one, I can still move things around. I can still affect the, the handles. Of course, if I move this too far away, it will not connect because it's these are farther than the connection distance, so I would need to increase the connection distance to make that work. Um, I can also you know, be changing how many repetitions there are, and um, merge paths will take care of just connecting everything together. Um, it's also handy if, for example, I have um, some shape like this, and I mirror repeat it, and I want to connect all this together, then I can say merge paths. It connects here. These are too far away. They're more than the default connection distance, so I'll just increase that, and then they're connected. Um, and then I've got this um, you know, symmetric shape that I can be changing around and modifying as I need to. So that is Merge Paths. I hope it's handy for you, and I hope you find some uses for it.